flight to spacecraft in Sri Lanka. In this video, I'm going to go through why this fact is true. So the best place to launch a spacecraft is Sri Lanka. Now there are two main reasons why this is true, and it's all tied in with launch efficiency. So if we launch about here, which is approximately where Sri Lanka is on the map, and it really depends how you look at it, but approximately there. This is the equator, as you may know, and this, is, this represents the Earth. Now obviously, the Earth is not a perfect sphere, it's actually an oblate spheroid. It's a circle, but this is a two-dimensional representation of it. So this is where it is. The rotation in the equator is 1,600 kilometers per hour. And it, go, it goes on this every 24 hours, it creates one rotation. And if we're launching a rocket, you want to take advantage of this natural spin. But this isn't the only reason, of course. I mean, there are many other places on Earth, as you can see here, that are actually closer to the equator. Many other places. So why are you going Sri Lanka? Well, it's not only this why Sri Lanka is very efficient. Number one is this. And number two is because Sri Lanka is very extremely low gravity. Sri Lanka has the lowest gravity on planet Earth. And because it has the lowest gravity, that means you need less thrust to take off. You need less propulsion to take off, meaning you can more be more efficient. And that meaning that you can save more energy and use that for other things. So the global average for gravity is about 9.806 meters per second squared. But in Sri Lanka, it's 7 there, but just take it. This means that in Sri Lanka it has a much, much less gravity than the global average. And it's actually really close to the equator. So this means that Sri Lanka is the most efficient place to launch a spacecraft on the entire planet. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the last video in the rocket science series. Um, I didn't say the word rocket until now in this video because these things are universal. So these equations and these step-by-step um, -step processes that I've been sharing with you over the series, they don't only apply to rockets because rockets are not the propulsion systems of the future for spacecraft. If we are going to create a future of space, rockets are not going to be the option. We need a more sustainable, a more eco-friendly option because global warming is one of the biggest problems that humanity is facing right now. So if we are going to combat that, and if we are going to go to space, we need to do it so that we're not destroying our planet down on Earth first. Thank you. Space. The unknown wonder of the multiverse. But in what do we get there? And how? For now, it is rockets. This brand new series will take you step by step through rocket science, from blueprint to reality.